He is known for his influential role as a conductor for the Minneapolis Symphony Orchestra and the New York Philharmonic. He expanded the Philharmonic's repertoire and championed the symphonies of Gustav Mahler. His name is Dmitri Metropolis. In the realm of classical music, there are few legends as iconic as Dmitri Metropolis. Born in Greece in 1896, Metropolis began his musical journey at a young age, showing extraordinary talent and passion for conducting. His career took off when he made his U.S. debut in 1936 with the prestigious Boston Symphony Orchestra, leaving audiences in awe of his brilliance. Impressed by his talent, the Minneapolis Symphony Orchestra appointed Metropolis as their principal conductor from 1937 to 1949. During his tenure, he brought a fresh perspective to the orchestra, infusing it with energy and innovation. But it was his association with the New York Philharmonic that truly solidified his status as a legendary maestro. In 1949, Metropolis joined the New York Philharmonic as a co-conductor alongside the renowned Leopold Stokowski. However, it wasn't long before Metropolis took the reins as the sole music director in 1951. With his charismatic presence and exceptional musicianship, he captivated audiences and elevated the orchestra to new heights of excellence. Metropolis also sought to expand the Philharmonic's reach beyond traditional concert halls. He recorded extensively with the orchestra, making their music accessible to a wider audience through Columbia Records. He even conducted a week of performances at the Roxy Theater, a popular movie theater, bridging the gap between classical music and mainstream entertainment. Metropolis's impact extended beyond his performances. He was a champion of contemporary composers, commissioning new works that pushed the boundaries of classical music. He also played a pivotal role in popularizing the symphonies of Gustav Mahler, a composer whose genius had been overlooked for years. Metropolis's dedication to Mahler's music was evident in his guest performance with the Philharmonic in 1960, where he conducted a mesmerizing rendition of Mahler's Fifth Symphony, a momentous occasion captured in a historic recording. Dmitri Metropolis's legacy as a legendary conductor is etched in the annals of music history. His innovative approach, commitment to new composers, and passion for bringing classical music to diverse audiences have left an indelible mark on the world of orchestral music. As a protege of Metropolis, Leonard Bernstein succeeded him as the Philharmonic's conductor, carrying forward his spirit of artistic exploration and musical excellence. Dmitri Metropolis will forever be remembered as a trailblazer who shaped the landscape of classical music and inspired generations of musicians to reach for greatness. In his illustrious career, Dmitri Metropolis not only made a name for himself as an orchestral conductor but also left an indelible mark on the world of opera. From his extensive work in Italy to his role as the principal conductor of the Metropolitan Opera, Metropolis showcased his musical prowess and dramatic flair. His performances of composers like Puccini, Verdi, and Richard Strauss set a standard for opera conductors that still serves as a model today. The Metropolitan Opera's archive of recorded broadcasts stands as a testament to the brilliance of his interpretations. Metropolis's collaborations with the New York Philharmonic for Columbia Records yielded a series of remarkable recordings. Among them, a rare complete performance of Alban Berg's Wozzeck stands out as a testament to his dedication to contemporary works. Sony Classics has since reissued many of these recordings on CD, including his stereo recordings of excerpts from Prokofiev's Romeo and Juliet. During the era of 78 RPM records, Metropolis also made notable recordings with the Minneapolis Symphony for RCA Victor. Known for his commitment to contemporary music, Metropolis premiered numerous works throughout his career. He introduced American audiences to Shostakovich's Tenth Symphony and First Violin Concerto, leaving an indelible mark on the reception of these compositions. Additionally, he had the honor of conducting world premieres such as Barber's Vanessa, Ernst Krenick's Fourth Symphony, and John J. Becker's Short Symphony. Metropolis's dedication to showcasing new works ensured that he remained at the forefront of musical innovation. Metropolis's contributions to the world of opera and his commitment to expanding the repertoire of contemporary music solidified his status as one of the greatest conductors of his time. His musically incisive and dramatically vivid performances continue to inspire and captivate audiences. With his recordings preserved in the Metropolitan Opera's archive and reissued by Sony Classics, Metropolis's legacy as an opera conductor remains alive and influential, reminding us of the transformative power of music. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.